Look at the size of this herd. And look at the rack on that thing. That's a 280 plus. That is a 280 plus buck right there. Unbelievable. Okay. Now we got to find out where these things came from. In honor of muzzleloader season, we actually did a mule deer hunt a few days ago. Well, today we're going to be back out here, but we're going to be hunting on Parque Fernando. We got a couple of spots where we have some really nice muley scouted out. We're going to set up a tripod, come back in there the next morning, and hopefully we get some good action. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, we just kicked up a real nice muley buck. He went up over that next ridge there. What we're going to try and do is actually get up on top and that is the main reason why that muley jumped up so now we're trying to get up to the top of this point here and see if we can't see him over the next ravine oh perfect 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 where is he where is he where is he where oh there he is it's a little too far out for a shot but we're gonna try for <sighs> all right so pretty sure i just heard not just one but there's two pumas calling over here two of them and it's starting to get louder and louder. Uh, I'm pretty sure that might even be three of them. Oh my god, this map is absolutely infested with pumas. Well, puma. Growl one more time, I dare you. I told you. I told you. I'm going to take out every single puma on this map. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, be quiet. Sheesh. Yeah. I told you we're going to smoke him. I told you. You didn't believe me, did you? So we ended up losing sight of that three, and we spotted a whole different herd of muleys, which one happens to be a very nice level four muley and he's right out there that's gonna be a 230 plus well now that we know where he's coming out we're gonna go over here set up a nice little stand and we'll come back the next morning in hopes of spotting this guy right now we're out here scouting we don't have anything to take him down with so there's really not much we can do aside from observe the situation and try and plan an amazing strategy to get this big buck all right, it's the next morning now, and we just got up in our tripod stand here overlooking the backside of this lake. We're hoping that pretty soon that big muley buck decides to show himself. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my God, I just got eyes on a buck. We just got eyes on a rat coming through. That's our buck. That's our buck right there. Here we go. Oh, wasn't sure if he was going to come in or not because we kept having all these growls from mountain lions around us. But then all of a sudden I looked and I saw a nice rack coming this direction. That's the other good buck there as well. But of course, this one here is the biggest one and he stopped out there 200 yards out. Let's get ready for a shot. Smoked him. He's actually gonna float right over to us. Perfect. Wow. We're literally not even going to have to move. This buck is going to float right to us. <laughs> couldn't have turned out much more better than that. Honestly, I really couldn't. So what happened that you guys probably didn't see, I don't know if I was recording or not, um, but a mountain lion snuck in behind us 150 yards out and kept growling. It wouldn't stop. So all of a sudden we turned over there and he was right there, I believe. Well, you could probably see him. Yeah, right there. Look. He's right there. Now, he was glitched out. He was pretty much shaking back and forth constantly the whole time. But that's probably what had to do with the uh, growling glitch. Anyways, we took a shot on him. And that was maybe five minutes ago. But before that, there was mountain lions all over. And then prior to that, we took one down right over here. So uh, thanks to that, these muleys came out. And our big buck stepped into range, giving us an awesome shot. But yeah, we can just sit here and wait for our beautiful muley to float right into us. All right, here he is, right here. Look at the mass on that thing. Wow. 
What a beautiful buck. That's going to be a 236 gold. We pulled off a 210 yard lung liver intestine shot. Got him right behind that front shoulder and centered the lung perfectly. What a great buck to start out this hunt. We just got to our next location here and take a look at what we have right out here. This location is absolutely prime. We happen to have a beautiful level four muley there with split G2s. Super awesome looking buck right out there. And there's an even bigger one right there. We're talking a 250 plus muley buck. He's right out there on the other side of this lake. Then there's another herd of muleys right over here as well. Nothing too impressive. But then there's even another herd of bucks over here. So we hit the absolute jackpot. All right, now we got to set up and get ready for the next morning. Oh my God, we just got to our next spot and look what just walked in right out there. We got a huge buck 250 yards out. That is a 240 plus. Now this is going to be a very tough shot. He is quartered directly at us, but we're going to try and catch the top of the heart. So basically, I think what we'll do is we'll hold for right above the spine and we should get a little bit of drop. All right, here we go. Oh, even better. He's stepping forward. He's stepping forward. No way. That's going to be perfect. He's going to stop right there. Perfectly broadside. 250 yards away now the bottom dot is 350 so we're gonna have to hold above the spine just a little bit for 250 I'd say right there should be right on the money we smoked him and he's going down right there what a shot 250 yard perfect shot now remember, there's another good buck over here as well. I'm not sure if he would have spooked from that or not. And just like that, there he is. He showed right up. <laughs> it's almost like he heard us talking about him. This buck is out there 230 yards. So he's going to be a little bit closer than the last buck that we just shot. So we're going to be able to hold for right on the spine this time. And that is a great buck in an awesome spot for a shot. All right, here we go, 230 yards. Woo! Smoked him, dropped him right there, wow. Now that was one heck of a shot. Well, this time we didn't quite get as lucky as that last buck that we did and have him float right on over to us. So we're going to grab the ATV and head on over there to go take a look at both of those bucks. All right, so both of our bucks should be laying right over here. In fact, this is the one that we potentially pulled off a heart shot. And this is actually the cooler of the two bucks. This buck is really cool. He's going to be a 232 gold. And we did, in fact, pull off an epic 222 yard heart shot. Double lung, shoulder, and heart. What a heck of a shot. And look at the rack on this buck. That is such a unique rack. I really, really like that one. I mean, he's not a giant but he's got such good genetics that honestly, if this buck got two or three years bigger, oh, you're talking, he's gonna be breaking that 250 mark. He's gonna be absolutely stunning. All right, now we gotta find the other buck. I'm pretty sure he took off this direction here and then piled up right before he got over this hill. Maybe it was a little bit further back than what I thought. All right, we might actually have to look for some blood. Because, yeah. We are not seeing him just yet. This is the worst feeling possible right here. 
When you know you got a big buck, you watched it go down. But you didn't mark the exact location it went down. So everything looks different when you get over there. Alright, so we need to go back to where we first hit that buck. That's not the first spot. But we know what direction he's headed. Because we took the shot right here. And then we got blood right here. Now, he for surely went this way. Am I blind or something? Because he should be laying right here. He's got to be laying right here. There's no way. We literally were just up there on top of that hill. And we couldn't find him anywhere. So he's got to be... Wait a second. No way. He's laying right here. No wonder why we couldn't see him. Look at where he went down. He went right into the thickest brush here. And he's also behind this big tree. So we were not able to even see this thing. We never would have spotted this thing had I not went back there and went to the initial spot that we took the first shot. Glanced over and I could just see his tine sticking up right there. All I could see was two tines sticking up. And that's all we needed to find this buck. But he's going to be a 238 gold. And we pulled off a double lung shot at 230 yards. Perfect double lung shoulder shot right through the center of the lung. And that's another beautiful muley buck. 238. This rack here is actually uh, pretty uncommon as well. Wow. So I thought this was the 240 plus rack, but that is not. This is a different rack that I don't believe we've seen in a while. Either that or this might be the big three rack. But nonetheless, it is quite the buck. Holy, I know we're out here looking for some giant muley, but that is one massive buffalo. Now, we don't have anything to take them down with aside from the recurve bow. So this is going to be quite the adventure. Alright, so because the wind was actually not in our favor and it was blowing back directly in our face, we had to circle back around and come in from the opposite direction. Otherwise, they would have spooked. But we just got into roughly 120 yards out from this whole entire herd of buffalo. Now, we gotta try and pick out the giant mythical. It's gonna be very difficult. But that actually might be him. Oh my god, that's him. That's him right there, that's him. Let's go prone, let's go prone, let's go prone. Alright, we just got less than 80 yards out from this giant bull water buffalo. He's right in front of us. Now, we can take up to a 60 yard shot, but he's in the really tall grass, so we can't actually see his whole body. That means we're gonna have to try and get closer and figure out another plan. I don't see him, I don't see him, unless that's him, that's not him, that's not him. Female there. There's that four there. Oh my god, I don't see him. I bet he's right behind that tree. Oh, that's him. Look at those are his horns. Okay. Well, at least we found him. He's 45 yards away. That's him, that's him, that's him. Get right there. He's 30 yards. All right, we're gonna have to crouch up and square up on this thing. Texas hard shot. Run, 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 run. We smoked him. Oh, we smoked him. Oh my God, no freaking way. Oh, get out of the way. We're getting attacked. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, you aren't coming back anymore after that, are you? Whoa! Oh, no! Get out of here! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, my God. I can't even lead him. It's like we're out of breath, so I can't compensate that lead. Whoa! Right to the tree. Whoa! Oh, there we go. That'll drop him. Oh. 
What a shot. Incredible Texas heart shot. All right, liver, stomach shot, lung, intestine. But this guy is the one that we care about. This guy right over here. Look at this buffalo. Oh my God, what a risky, risky shot. But we know that we have a lot of penetration with this bow. So we took the chance and we went for it. Here he is, a giant 154 mythical. Look at the size of that thing. Holy, we pulled off. Take a look at this shot. A 31 yard intestine, liver, and lung shot. Now, the only thing I was worried about that shot was that maybe we might hit the skull. But because he was turned away, we actually didn't hit the skull and it went right below it. We almost got the neck, which would have been kind of epic as well. Look at this penetration though. It is honestly a little bit OP in my opinion at the fact that, you know, a 600 grain arrow is gonna go clear through a freaking water buffalo all the way past through. And yet a 338 would barely hit the intestine from that same exact distance with uh, the uh, palmer tips. You know, you should at least be getting into the liver, which would be right here. And that makes perfect sense. Now, with the bow, maybe just touch the lung, and I'd be okay with that. If we took that exact same angle, and say it stopped right here even, I'd be okay with that. I really would. But hey, what an incredible bonus. Big old monster mythical water buffalo taken down with the recurve bow. Spot and stalk style. We just found a track from a max weight muley buck headed right to this farthest point on this map. I've never found a mule deer this far north on this map. And I'll show you exactly where we're at in one second here. But this buck is extremely difficult to track. I'm noticing many of his tracks are at least 50 yards apart. As you can see, there's no other track. And then here's one right here. So yeah, this buck really has me interested. Now, we'll look at the map, and I'll show you. I found the track right here. Normally, the mule deer would drink at this lake here. I've never seen a single mule deer at this lake way up here. But in this case here, I mean, this buck is either going to this lake or this one. But most likely, he's probably going to be over here. And that is going to be our first huge mule deer on this part of the map ever. All right, it looks like we're about to be able to see pretty good here. So we got a track right here. We got some javelina calling down there. Now, I doubt they'd... Oh, no way. No freaking way. Is that him? Oh, my God. That's him. What a giant buck. Where in the heck is he going, dude? What? He's gonna stop right there, 400 yards away. There's a doe over there as well. And that is gonna be the zone that he's gonna drink from. I cannot even believe that we found a buck down here. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've been over here and searched for a buck and they just don't live here for some reason. I don't know, this must be something new. It's gotta be new because I've never seen anything like this. All right, we kicked up a couple of red deer here and that's a very small stag. So we are indeed gonna pass him up. Well, there's our giant buck. However, that is not gonna be a shot. I don't know how we're gonna get this thing. And we're super far away. Well, yeah, we're a good mile and a half away. I guess not a ton. I mean, we could definitely fast travel there and get a tent or something like that. Because we're not going to get a shot off like this. Um, I think what we'll end up doing is probably set up a tripod right here. Then when he comes in, well, we got to figure out where he comes from first off. 
All right, so no more tracks going that way. I don't even know if we're going to be able to figure out where he actually does come in. Unless he veers off this way. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, a giant buck. And another giant buck. Look at the size of this herd. And look at the rack on that thing. That's a 280 plus. That is a 280 plus buck right there. Unbelievable. Okay. Now we got to find out where these things came from. We got to figure that out. Oh my god, those things were huge. Well, we got a bunch of tracks right here. It's looking like there might be a zone right over here. Eight of them right here. Okay, so <laughs> if we were to set up our tripod here, that would have been no good. That would have been really bad. But now that we know where they're at, we're going to have to try and figure out what to do here. I'm thinking maybe we could set up our tripod on top of this little point here. Let's see what we're looking at. Um, yeah, no, that's not going to work. What could maybe work is if we put it up. We could maybe set up a tripod right there and go for a 350 yard shot on this buck. All right, so right here is where we're going to set up our tripod. And if we did that, that would honestly be kind of an amazing setup. We're looking right down there. Oh, look at there they go. Hmm. We're gonna have two tripods. We're gonna have one set up right here because this view is incredible. And then we're also gonna have one set up over there. I think that should work. And there he is! Oh my god, there he is! Oh my god, look at the size of that thing! He's 280 yards out. Oh my God. All right, let's get ready. So they're gonna work their way down there and hopefully slow up around 250, well, 315 yards out there probably. Oh, he's right down in the bottom. Not gonna be able to take him like that. I'm gonna take a shot to see if maybe we could slow him down. 260 yards. Oh my god, tell me we made a shot! Son of a- Oh my god, I think we messed it up. Oh no. Wait a second, he's hit hard. Ah, we might have gotten an intestine hit. The wind might have pushed it back. He is hit hard, he's going down. Then again, maybe we only got a single lung. I don't know. But he's down. I don't care if we hit him in the intestine or not. That was a super, super far shot. He was about 280 yards out. Boy. Look at the size of the rack on that buck. Yeah, I'd say we for surely hit an intestine hit on that thing. Only because when we took the shot, I believe he took a step forward. And so that's pretty much what happened. Ooh, that's the other buck that we want. All right, well, there's still one more giant buck and he's right over there. Remember, he's the first one that we saw. Oh my God, look at what just stepped out. There he is right there. That's our giant buck. Unfortunately, we're getting a call from some mountain lion over here as well, and... Oh... I don't know if we could get a shot off on this thing without spooking our buck. Oh, they're so annoying. Oh my god, we got ducks right below us here. I was like, what the heck is that noise? Okay, we literally went right through them. Got them that time, though. Wow, those ducks are so loud. 
Is there more? Oh my god. All right, it's gonna be a miracle if this buck is still over there. Oh my god, he's still over there. All right, there we go. He's turned broadside. Let's wait till he stops. Turn back a little bit more. Ooh, that'll work. That'll work. We'll slide over just a touch left. Two hundred and fifty yards. We smoked him, baby! Yes! Oh my god, we spent so much time trying to get a shot off in this buck. And we got him. Holy did we get him. Wow. He was smart. He was really, really smart. We came back here at least six different times to try and get this buck. Half the times the puma decided to scare him away. And the other times he was just super smart and ended up not giving us a shot. All right, guys, here he is laying right here. Let's take a look at the size of this thing. Oh my God, he was a giant 286.11. We pulled off a 290 yard shot. And because he took a step forward, we got him further back than what we would have liked. But height wise, we were almost perfect. Had he stopped and not been nervous, we would have had an amazing double lung shot on that buck or for sure lung liver. We would have hit right here and that would have been lung liver. That would have been an amazing shot, but we still did get a monster muley buck. This is absolutely huge, 286. All right, so our buck was right about here when we took that shot and now we're just trying to find some blood. I mean, we know what direction he ran off to, but we got to find, oh my God, there we go. That's good blood. That's really, really good blood. So he ran through here and he went a good ways. How are we supposed to find more blood in here? Oh. Well, let's just go to where the last place that we saw him at was. And I think it's right up over this ridge. There is no way we are going to find him in here. Absolutely no way. It's so thick. What? I could not make this up if I tried. There's absolutely no possible way we just did that. We literally walked right into... Our giant buck now we have a 270 plus maybe 280 muley laying right in front of us here and we can't even see anything except for the back of his butt that's all we could see <laughs> we walked right into him in this huge thicket what are the odds of that i guess it was meant to be you know i guess it was meant to be it's going to be a 263 gold, and we pulled off a 240-yard lung shot. That thing was a giant, and I figured we might have been a little bit high on that shot. We were. We were a little bit high, but we still did get lung, and that is going to give us a huge muley buck right there. Wow, that was one heck of an incredible hunt. Started off by taking a couple of nice muley, including that giant mythical water buffalo that we snuck up on and took a Texas heart shot at 30 yards. Then we almost had that giant 290 score muley, which was a little bit off because of the fact that he took a step forward. And then we got this guy, which is a huge 240 inch giant muley buck so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time i still can't believe we stumbled upon this thing
What are the actual odds? And what a buck. 